Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo laptop with an iCore 7 Intel 8th generation. And uh, this is a 17 inch screen I believe. This one is an IdeaPad 330-17 IKB. So 17 stands for 17 inch I believe. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to do your own repaste, clean up, and service your own laptop. And this one, you so you're supposed to do your own repaste service every year, year and a half, depending the use that you have on the laptop. The tools that you're going to be needing are number one is an iFixit tool set or screwdriver set, and I love this tool set because they have all the bits that you need and they're really hard and steel so they don't go bad. We're going to be using Philips number zero from this tool set. And next, it's a opening tool. I usually use this guitar pick. It's my favorite. It's a metallic guitar pick with a soft edges. These are perfect to opening the laptop, cell phones, or any electronic. And you will be needing a a workshop towel so I'll grab a few sheets of the workshop towel and the next main one would be a good thermal paste I use the Arctic MX4 but if you want you can use a thermal grizzly thermal paste these are really one of the top brands but for this video I'm gonna use an Arctic MX4 and also you will need an alcohol 95% or 100% isopropolic alcohol all right so first thing first you want to flip over the laptop make sure your laptop is powered off completely there's no it's not in a hibernate or anything like that power it up totally completely and you want to grab the screwdriver and you want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover and just remember that all the screws are the same size and height, so you cannot mismatch them or anything like that. So go ahead and remove them. Also, I want to take a moment and thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I only see 1% of you guys subscribe. It really help and motivates me if I see more subscribers and, and likes for my videos. If you find my videos helpful and helping you guys, please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing it really helps out once you remove all the screws at the bottom cover next is to remove the optic drive just by sliding it outward and next step is to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover just like that and you want to twist it just like this do all around in the front end of the laptop. Make sure you hear those clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. Do the side where the DVD ROM is, the same thing. Go all the way back to the corner by the hinges. All you need to do the front end and the optic drive side. And once you did the back corner by the hinges, you're gonna see this side is coming up already. All you want to do is lift it up and wiggle it around a little bit and push it towards the I.O. side. So, and there we go. That way you can release all this uh, contact that they go around the USBs. So this is the bottom cover. You can go ahead and with a toothbrush, clean up the mesh, dust the mesh right here. And here we can see the fan and the heat sink, everything right here. Before we continue, we're gonna remove the battery and disconnect the battery by removing one, two, three screws. The screws are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching these ones neither. Next. All right, next you wanna just lift up the battery and pull out this cable backward and the jack will come out. Now I already upgraded the hard drive to a Kingston hard drive SSD. I have another video on how you can do that. All right, and down here we have the fan and the heatsink. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bracket, the screws for the GPU, and three screws for the CPU. 
these screws they have a C lock on them so they will not come out completely so you just have to loose them up just do a few turns and then you can just grab the heat sink and if it's not there's one more screw probably right there just loosen it up and lift it up and guess what look at this surprise right here they did not there's a whole dent right here is an empty spot I guess this CPU the heatsink wasn't designed for this type of CPU as there's no thermal paste on this crystal die right over here so that's a really bad thing and there's nothing you can do with it unless you put a 0.2 millimeters thermal pad there to fill up the gap right there so next what you want to do is remove the fan by removing one screw right over here and remove the jack for the fan pull it out now the wi-fi cables antennas you can just peel them off lift them up they are pushed down and untangle the cables just they are zigzag down there so untangle it there we go now we can go ahead and take it outside and with a toothbrush and a compressed air you can just go ahead and clean it up if i take it outside i'm just going to clean up the cpu and the gpu with piece of the working towel we're going to spray the alcohol on the towel and we're just going to rub it over the cpu and the gpu be gentle with the gpu as they has a little capacitors around it so you just want to clean up the die don't worry too much about the arounding the thermal paste as long as you clean the die you fine the thermal paste is not conductive so also clean the heat sink just rub it there we go now i the fins on the CPU you can also clean up with a toothbrush and that's it let me go ahead and clean up and I'll be back all right I already cleaned up the heatsink and the fan is nicely cleaned so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna grab our thermal paste and we're gonna put a line right on the CPU and one drop right on the GPU Again, if you want to grab a thermal pad and place it on the disc die, exactly the same amount of about 0.3 millimeter thermal pads on this one, then it can help a lot by touching this uh, dent right there. You do not need to remove the thermal pads on the VRAMs, they are not necessary at all. So don't worry about those ones. Now, you want to put the heatsink on top straight and hold it down and start screwing it down always cross the screw them all right and the next thing would be grab the wi-fi cable zigzag it go back down and place it where it was place it right on the top move the flex cable for the keyboard put the jack right in place and grab the wi-fi antenna align it on the top of each contact and push them down okay so make sure all the cables are out of the way and put the only screw that holds the fan in place next is to grab the battery plug in push down the jack towards the connector right there and align it on top and place the three screws that hold the battery on the motherboard so one right there by the jack one right to the corner left side and one all the way on this end if i'm not mistaken yes well this screw right here goes from the top side of the case and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover bring it over and put slide down the io side from the outside inward make sure all the io sides are nicely in place press it down make sure you hit those clicks walk yourself through on the corners make sure push it down you should hear those clicks in the back end push it down nicely and if you see any opening just pinch them 
and that's it. And one of the last thing would be to grab the DVD drive and slide it in. And grab the bottom screws and put them back in place. And that will be all for this service. And again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.